So Luke, we're doing a lovely little demo on this Grob at CIS. EN 24T is the material, and we're high feeding it initially, and then, we get, then we're trying to find out the differences between a ball nose uh, and, and a barrel cutter. So just tell us a little more. Yeah, that's right. So we've got our XMR01 high feed, and we're trying to get the material off as quick as possible. Um, so as fast as the machine will allow us, running at 200 meters, at one mil per tooth. Um, sounds like it wants to go a little bit more. Um, yeah, in terms of the high feed, EN 24T, like you say, by the time you've got up to speed, unfortunately, you're stopping to go around the corner. If this part would have been twice the size, the data would have been even more impressive. Yeah, that's right. We could have um, been at maybe 300 metres, 1.2 um, per tooth. So, yeah, we can really push this tool and have some really good results. But, yeah, there's more about the barrel milling and the ball nose. Trying to see, highlight the difference between the two, so the cycle time saving as well as the surface finishing and what you can achieve with, with the barrel mill. Yeah, for me, that's an important thing. We've done enough videos now on barrel milling to know that the, 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 uh, the cycle time savings are staggering. I think on this one, it's around 70%. But I'm more interested about the surface finish, and that's what this demo is about, isn't it? The fact that using a ball nose, uh, using a conical barrel tool or a uh, circle segment cutter, there's no, you know, you don't lose surface finish. Yeah, that's right. So we've just done the ball nose against um, the barrel. We, the, the two service finishes come in, I think the, the barrel was at 0.4 ROA and the ball nose was 1.2. Mm -hmm. So it's a massive um, improvement and the cycle time improvement as well. Yeah, for sure. And, and it's, it's, it's a nice little five axis um, part as well, isn't it? It's, yeah. You, you don't, can't just see it with a naked eye. But. No, it's actually curved in. Um, so yeah, it's a trickier than it looks. But, but yeah, I think it went really well. I'm happy with, with the results. and. Um, it's not, it's not in your easy to machine materials again, EN 24T. ZCC, your solid carbide drills are becoming very popular, renowned for quality. Um, it's no different on this job, it's gone really well. Yeah, so we've got a new um, GD drill, it's a high feed drill. Um, and yeah, we're, it's not hanging around, we're running at 100 meters a minute at 0.3 per rev, which um, is pretty impressive. I haven't seen many other. Uh, people running that kind of data um, so yeah it looks good and there's another solid carbide tool on this job yeah so we've used our TM which is generally for HRSA materials but it's worked really well today we've got really good surface finish on this part and um, yeah the feed rate was impressive as well even though we're just finishing we've got the extra teeth you can drive it that little bit faster and still achieve a really good finish so ZCC, you're growing in the UK, becoming more and more popular, seeing more and more of your products. Are these some of the more popular products on this demo? Yeah, High Feed is probably one of our best selling tools. We've had some really good success, I think 92% success rate. And um, our solid carbide drilling is uh, really good as well. Price time to performance ratio is uh, brilliant and um, they're becoming more and more popular. For more information, please go to our website or speak to your local sales representative.